Good morning, almost afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, or nighttime. Hey, you were looking north along the coast at the Hearst Castle, behind that tree somewhere, off in the distance. And I am at the Hearst Van Simeon State Park. Thank you for the moment. I'm gonna figure out what to do with my car, my Dharma. But um, I wanted to talk to you today about growth, about spirituality, about healing the self, healing the inner child, the childhood trauma, and ancestral curses. I'm talking about trauma bonding, trauma bonding, the things you learn in your journey, right? self-healing, trauma bonding, when you, when you connect with somebody on a negative level through trauma, toxicity, and you can't let go, they got you trapped through a lie or through manipulation, it's not healthy, it's not love, and the one person knows the other person's leaving, that kind of thing, and so they manipulate them through children or something bizarre like that, it's just horrible. One blessing between my ex-wife than me was that there was no arguments over um, my son as far as me seeing him and anything. No restrictions. See, he was not my biological. I basically met her before. And if you didn't know his father, um, which was a blessing, trust me. But he was waiting for a father and I was waiting for responsibility and to grow the fuck up, to be honest. And he helped me become a man. And it was, you know, that was a bond separate. That's a spiritual soul. He must have been my dad in a lot of past life because he's more of a grumpy old man than I am right now. I love him though. But anyway, and but the bond we had was special. He's like Taurus, four days apart on our birthdays. You know, a lot of ways he's more like me than her. And she frustrated about that, but she was awesome when it came to even with the counseling. She went to counseling and took me there one time. And they were like, the lady was like, you both put the child first, and that's rare. A lot of times they use the child as a weapon against each other. And, you know, it does, that's a terrible thing to do, by the way. The child should be loved, period. And a blessing. And you should honor your, the spouse who you've had children with, regardless of how you feel about them. And just honor the child. If you can't honor them because they're a loser, the child deserves better. My son is amazing, by the way. I love him. And my grandchildren grandson's birthday's coming up. <sighs> I love granddaughters too, so I'm just so excited to see them. I can't, I just gotta work out that ego thing, but <clears throat> anyway, I brought that up because it's important, because it's happening, and people need to break free from that, because it's really toxic. I got people driving by in five seconds. For fuck's sake. Try to fix this. I don't mind. Anyway, I got, you should have heard the last of it. That's like, I was getting dive bombed by some plane doing a tourism thing. So I had to start the video over. I was like five minutes into it, so it's fine. But anyway, I'm gonna keep going. So recognize the trauma, recognize the bonds, recognize the people around you. Are they are they high vibration? Are they helping you? Are they loving? Are they caring? Are they supportive? If they're not, drop them. Get rid of them. They're not, they're toxic. They're toxic, you know, karmic, um, you know, relationships. They're karmics. Karmics tend to teach you a lesson. You move on from those karmics. You don't hang out and live with them forever. That's what that karmics are for. You got soul tribe, and then you got karmics. Michael, my son, is a soul tribe. He, we've gone through lifetimes as a family member, either him being brothers or trust me, it's a weird bond. We have like that with lovers, with our, you know, with you have women or men you meet that are very bonded, special, and it's like you felt this way from past lives, and it happens. Not everybody has that kind of soul contract, but. You know, everybody's here for different reason, right? Some people are just low vibration and some people are dark arts. And, and I don't understand that, but it's part of the balance, I guess. I'm just going to run high and, and love and light. And, hey, you guys, no, get out of my... These little fucking squirrels have no fear. I, well, they love me, but... I didn't feed them grapes. You guys are so cute. But I'm just talking. So, anyway. But, yeah... Recognize the child, the traumas. Recognize your childhood uh, injuries. Heal your child, inner child. I saw some dude on a motorized skateboard at my last stop, and he was just having a ball, just riding around on his little motorized skateboard. And 
I was like, she's like 40s, like inner child. And this lady was running around, she had to be in her 60s. She's running around a little moped, just having some big old smile on her face. He, find stuff from your childhood, heal yourself, just have fun, love yourself, and that's it. Yeah, and break the bonds that tie. Like I said, if you know, if you're ignoring the, the traumas and the, and the signs, then you deserve every link in that chain that binds you. And you don't really deserve that. Everybody deserves to be happy and free and free will to do what you want and love yourself. So, I love you. God loves you. And you love yourself. Otherwise, I wouldn't be babbling like this. So anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you in the next Okay, bye.